All right. Welcome. Welcome. Oh, you're doing the welcome. Yeah. Welcome to Anthony's house. We are in Anthony's house. Yeah. Um, so, guys, I have uh, one of my oldest friends on the podcast today. Uh, her boyfriend's not happy she's here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Victoria Zizula. Um, Hi. I've known Victoria since high school. She was just at my comedy show. And we were supposed to do a podcast about a year ago, a year and a half ago. Yeah. A long, a long time ago, you were supposed to be on my podcast. And uh, climate change. About <laughs> climate change. She did the hair adjustment about climate change. This is your first podcast ever, right? It is. It, it is. is. And it's her first time in my apartment. And uh, you have issues. I do. She has <laughs> issues. You're not the first person to have issues with my apartment. Okay. I know that. It, I expected it. I figured it would happen. It's not the worst, but it's not the best. Yeah. It could be worse. Yeah. Okay. I need it, it, it could be a lot worse. It could be a lot worse. There are certain nice things. Yeah. Some things are kind of nice. It's an apartment. <laughs> it's it's a place. <laughs> it's standing. It hasn't crumbled. Yeah. But uh, yeah, there are certain things could be a little more cleanly, right? Yeah. It's more uh, of a bachelor pad yeah. than in... Yeah. Um, Regular apartment. Um. Regular apartment. <laughs> Listen, the bathroom could use some tidying. Correct. My pajamas are in the bathroom. Correct. And that's not guest ready. I know that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sorry about that. That's okay. But I, I also, uh, literally, I left my apartment. I was like, listen, like, it's not people, if people come here, they'll be like, why are your pajamas in the bathroom? Yeah. Um. But they are. They are. That's okay. Yeah. Um, it, it, it's very common for men to do that. Things like that. Um, right? That's the kind of a guys are like ne negligent about things, right? They yeah. are. Yeah. I, I maybe, should I just act like I was leaning into that? Because I kind of was maybe. Yeah. I was leaning into that. I know people have low expectations <laughs> of that. <laughs> that is kind of what I do. I'm like, listen, there's a mop in the bathroom. Why not? Why not, right? It's convenient. It's I convenient. Think men have a apartments. Yeah. And for convenience. Um, <laughs> just to like kind of live somewhere. Yeah. Right? It's just Well, is you your know. does your apartment look immaculate? Uh yes, cuz my mom cleans. It. I don't have a mom living here. I'm sorry, <laughs> Victoria. I'm sorry we don't all live with our moms anymore. You know? Uh yeah. You know, um, that's the clip. However, I do help her. Clean you do it sometimes. What do you what do you help with cleaning? Let's get to the bottom um, of that because I'm by myself here. I'm solo. Okay, <laughs> I'm an independent man here. Baseboards. What? Baseboards. Oh, baseboards. I thought you said play sports. <laughs> I was like, you help by playing sports. What? No. What uh, are baseboards? <laughs> Let's start with that. Baseboards are the ones. It's like in between the wall and the floor. Okay. It's the baseboards. Okay. Um, that's very it's like they can get dusty blah blah yours however don't look like they get dusty they only have one surface i mean it wouldn't kill you to clean them what are the baseboards again that oh there yeah you see the wood thing yeah. on the wall yeah the, oh it. oh i thought those were uh, moldings or moldings are the ceiling mold yeah and yeah. then moldings that just has mold. like the frame of the door yes yeah, so... That's base a baseboard. Yeah, that's a baseboard. And there is a little dust going on. Correct. I had to clear my throat. Um, <laughs> <It's> okay. <laughs> I will try to hit a dust buster to that. That's okay. I have a mini duster. It's in my car right now, obviously. <laughs> For convenience. For convenience, yes. Mm -hmm. So, guys, let, let's just break this down. So, I've known Victoria since you were like what? Uh, we were in high school. We A little before, we, maybe. Yeah. Probably high yeah. school. No, well, I got... So, when I went to high school to Mary Lewis, the yes. Mary Lesbians Academy... The Mary, two of my aunts went there, by the way. Really? Yeah, I told you this before, probably. Probably, I don't remember. Yeah, memorable. Um, <laughs> But, no, we, we, we remember stuff about each other. Yeah. Yeah. So, you went to Mary Lewis. Um, the And then Anthony went to... Um, you know it. Take a second. The... St. Francis Pratt. There we go. <laughs> I knew I knew you knew it. Yeah. And um, he would pick me up from Mary Lewis. Yes. Was that far away? No, it was close. It was a 10-minute drive. Okay. He would pick me up, and we, we would yeah. drive to the same 
tennis center. We played tennis. We would play tennis. They together. have since knocked it down to build condominiums. No way. You didn't know that? No, Stay I Stay in the loop one time. No. What was it? Go tennis? Go tennis. You knew it. No. Yeah, I knew yeah. that, but I didn't know that they They would. knocked it down. <gasps> no way. Yes, yes way. Yes way. Yes, way protein. So it's not a thing anymore? So they knocked down. Go Tennis was a place in Bayside. It was North Shore Tennis Club. Go mm-hmm. Tennis was the program run by George Garland and other people. And um, yeah, Victoria and I, we, we became champions there. <laughs> so what did we, we? Yeah, we did. Um, uh, well, you you played college tennis. I played college yeah. tennis. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. won some matches. Yeah. yeah. So I won my SUNYAC. Champions. You did. I was very proud of you. I was happy when you did. Was it two or three years in a row? I don't remember. Uh, it's just, I, can't, I, I can't keep count. I, I can't keep count. You yeah. can't keep count at a certain point. Um, when you just we, keep winning, you forget. I remember we went to nationals once. Yeah. Um, and we played, um, what was that college in Maine? There are a lot of them. It started with a B. Bowden? Bowden. My yeah. friend went there. Polar yeah. Bears. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Polar Bears. Uh, we did not win. You be um, you lost to them. Yeah, we did. The polar bears um, froze you out. Yeah, we did. Uh, yeah, 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 they, they did. did. Um, funny enough, my boyfriend's brother went to that college. Went to Bowdoin. Went to Bowdoin. He did not play tennis, but he went there, and I yeah. was like, rivalry. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a rivalry. We we won the first match. Yeah. You mean doubles at nas- or at nationals? Oh, you did. So you guys yes. like won a match at nationals. Correct. Yeah, yes. for for people who aren't aware, like that's a that's a that's kind a of big a big thing. That's kind of a big thing. You that's you play thing. tennis. D three school. Yeah, no, but that's good. Like they're a good D three tennis player. Sometimes the D three tennis players they could just be like, oh, I'm going to a school. I'm going to be good at school, but I also kind of hit a forehand a little. So yeah. you get good tennis players at D three schools. Yeah, like you Victoria. Do. Yeah, I had the best. Um, Victoria was more committed. Yeah, <laughs> she was more committed to being like, uh, this apartment's not clean. But yeah. <laughs> she was like, you I know. I was really committed. Okay, so in college, yeah. I was really committed. So I um, lived with a bunch of horse girls. Yeah. And I was a horse girl myself you for a were, year. You were, right? Yes, I, I remember some horses on Instagram stories mm-hmm. and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are you still a horse girl or uh, no? No. Um, that's Why too did expensive. That's, it's expensive. Mm-hmm. Do you still love horses? I do love horses. So if you see one, you're going to mount one. You're going to be like, I'm on the horse. <laughs> well, that's what they, d- isn't that what they say? I'm not trying to make it um, weird. Just like, isn't that what happens? Uh, I wouldn't mount one. What do you say I to would a horse? pet one. You just, pe- you wouldn't ride a horse? I would, I would again. Do yeah. you like that? Like, oh uh, yeah, it's fun. Did it feel fair to them? Okay. This is a humanitarian it did, crisis. Okay. Um, it, okay. So yeah. the thing is, it di- it it is fair to them. However, I'm a a a bit of a bit contra like controversy person. So it depends right. on the bit that they had. Um, bit? What goes in their mouth? Oh, okay. Um, what would you shove in their mouth? Like like what? I would I would consider nothing. I I oh I'm so you would do no bit in their mouth. Okay. What's w- the bit for? Okay, the thing is, I had no say. My coach okay. would have the say. However, currently I am a no bit controversy. So okay. there's this thing. It's like a no bit in the mouth. Okay. So you don't put any metal stuff in their mouth. Yeah. And it would just be on their cheeks, and you would pull on it. And yeah. It, and it would be like a, um, kind of like a signal of where you want to go. So if oh. you pull right. If you pull left, you would go left. If you pull right, you would go right. But you could still, like, navigate them without that? Correct. So yeah. why would anyone do a bit? Do they hate um, animals? It's it's kind of a historical thing. Um, Waspy, meaning. Yeah. So it's just, like, white people trying to be, like, we control animals. Yes. Sounds familiar. Yeah, um, yeah that's no good. So no. when's the last time you rode a horse? Oh my God. Equestrian. Year, years ago. Like. Did you do it in college? Yeah, Were you on like your school's team? Um, Do they have a so team? It was a club when I joined. Okay. Um, and then it became a team when I graduated. <laughs> oh, like did you make that happen? Uh, no. Don't lie. No, I didn't. Um, so when I graduated, so it was kind of like a movement, like a. Sounds like a lot. 
Black Lives Matter movement. But for horses. But for horses. Um, Sounds intense for no reason. Yeah. So the thing is, so because we were a D3 school, we had to be a D3 horse team school. Um, So we we could only um, compete with Virginia, schools in Virginia, uh, schools in Alabama, blah, blah, blah. Problematic states mm-hmm. only. Yes, in but I graduated at that point. So the thing is, it was really difficult to um, to, I guess. You're trying to rationalize your yeah, your, your, your 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 horse life. I guess so because so it was really difficult to compete with tennis and and. Um, and uh, I guess horse girlism. Horse girlism. <laughs> it was a lot on your plate. Yeah, it was a lot. It was a lot of hay on your plate. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, as, as well as um, a biochem degree. So oh yeah, it was difficult. And now so you're in finance. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it goes. Listen, I was a media major. I'm feeding tennis balls. Like I do, I do stand up comedy. It, but you know, you get. So I wanted to go into sustainability. Yeah. Um, it's one of the things I wanted to talk. About yes, w- a year and a half ago, I was going to have Victoria on my last podcast. It was a book podcast, and she's like, hey, let's talk about the environment. I was like, that makes sense. Yeah. So, But it could. Yeah. So what I mean, okay, so I could talk about that. But the thing is, I want to go into environmental sustainability, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. My cousin worked at this company. She said I can get you a job. It happened to be in finance. Right. This um, one now. Correct. Um. You know, it's great. It's not great. It, there's perks. I'm sending this to them. Yeah, you should. Um, I'm interviewing right now. If anyone is hiring, um, <laughs> are you actually? <laughs> uh, yeah. Good. I'm. I'm actually. Should be happy. Ballerina yeah. schools. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah. I uh, for for you that don't know me, um, probably all of you, um, I wanted to be a ballerina when I was growing up, so that didn't really go really well i have the thighs of a tennis player probably larger no Um, it's good they don't accept that in ballerina school or whatever they're upset about it they're upset about it they don't they're fat phobic are they very russian or like if ballerina feels russian um no that'll get bleeped out because the russians are listening to this probably. probably um no actually um i think they're very i think the Russian aspect is gymnastics. Yep. And I did do that, too. Did you like it? Um, It was okay. I didn't really like uh, being told that they can see my lunch while I was... Your lunch or your lunch? My lunch. So. Oh, they see your lunch in like, your stomach. Yeah, so They're like, I, I see your lunch. Like yeah, in your I, I can see your lunch in your in your stomach. That was a good Olga right there. Please, please suck it in. Suck it in, yes. Yes, yes. Niet. 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 Niet da. Wait, how do you say no in Polish, by the way? Victoria's Polish. Uh, Niet. Niet. Without the T. Oh, wow. They really changed that one up. Correct. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a little Polish, so, you know, I, I let me see how many words I know. Okay, I, So ahead. I know, dzień dobry. Okay. Dzień dobry. That's good day. Good ha- I know. Have a good day. Good night. Good night. Uh, yeah. Raz, dwa, śnie. That's one, two, three. Raz, dwa, trzy. Oh, raz, dwa, śnie. Trzy. Trzy. Good. Yeah. Trzy. One, two, three. Cool. Cool. Yeah, Got that. Good. Very good. And then the other day, because I did a sketch and I added some Polish words to my oh, repertoire. Oh, really? So, cienki. Right? Uh, dziękuję. Oh. Or dzięki. Cien- yeah, it's dzięki. like, thank you. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, dzięki... Do widzenia. Yeah, goodbye. Goodbye. Yeah, okay, good. okay, so I like seven. Very good. I five and a half because I butchered all of them. But no, that's good. Something, I'm in there. I would give you um an eight out of ten. Not bad. Uh, 8.5, actually. Thank you. That's yeah, a good pizza review. You're my friend. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> you're, like, you're, you're my friend who has a deplorable uh, hygiene in his apartment. <laughs> it's okay. It could be bad. This area is fine right here. No, this is okay. This yeah. area... Well, what? Tell me. Just say it. Um, it's a little sad. <laughs> well, I know that. What the tree or the? Um, no, the, the tree. Te- Actually, the tree is really festive. Thank you. Honestly. How how hard did you work on it? Not at all. No, it's oh. just it came mostly like that. My dad got me a couple of ornaments. Okay, honestly, it's pretty good. Not bad. <laughs> that that thing. It's the coffee table that I'm. You don't like this? This is fine. I mean, it's okay. Like. 
the thing is, <laughs> it, you walk in the living room and yeah. it's like, damn, this is his living room. Um, well, it's a, it's a small apartment. It's like you, it's, it's just like too much. What's honestly. too much? And like, here is your bedroom. It's a lot. It's well, a it's lot. a small apartment. I know. Are you are you are you I, uh, okay. space shaming me? For how long I've known you, I envisioned something larger. Yeah, but this is my apartment. The whole thing. This is all mine. Okay. I mean, yeah, the, the, okay. the bedrooms get the like. The thing is, you could do more with your. What? Office. Yeah, but it's that's store. I admit, that's not all. It's not a. But it's centerpiece. The thing is, I. I'm a busy boy. Like I have a lot going on. What do you have going on? I'm so I'm teaching tennis in the morning and afternoon, and then I'm doing comedy shows at night. I'm not here a lot. I'm really not here a lot. Really. Truly. Where were we tonight? The com the bar. The the bar, the comedy show, mm-hmm. right? That's where I was. Where are we right now? I'm making you, content. You, but how how often do you teach tennis? A lot. Every day. Okay. Six days a week. From what? What to what? Uh I have to wake up at like six thirty AM. Okay. Make my breakfast and coffee. Okay. Mm. okay. <laughs> it's that takes time. It's on the way, yeah. I make it sometimes, okay. and sometimes I get it, but okay, I get up to what time to drive. I drive to Long Island. Okay, so you can. There's places closer, but okay. There are, but I teach there. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm there till you gave me a little bit of a fine. Hey, <laughs> hey, fine. I teach. It's the hair thing. It's the hair thing. I do that. I'm there till like sometimes seven, seven thirty at night, and then I drive. That's crazy. A forty-five minutes to an Who hour. Do you teach that long. No, but the the problem is this. That's what people don't understand is I teach, say, ladies from 9.30. No, listen. Ladies. Ladies. From 9.30 to, ladies. like, say, 2.30 or a 1.30 even. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. then I have a couple hours off in between because life schedules. You and could the, clean. If you have time I'm to lean, long, you have time to clean. I'm in Long Island. I'm not here. I'm, then I teach kids from, like, 3.30 to 5.30 or 6.30. And then I drive back to the city. Explain so that. This Riddle me this. This isn't the city. This is. This is Brooklyn. It's Brooklyn is the it's city. It's not the city. So Brooklyn's not in New York City. It's in the tri-state area. No, it's in New York City. It's, it's one of the five boroughs of New York City. You knew this. You grew up here. I know. I'm trying but to help you right now. Yeah, I don't consider it the city. It's not Manhattan. No. But it's... Manhattan is the city. You live in New York City. Yeah, I do. Yeah, and you live in Queens. For 25 years. Yeah, uh, me too. 27. Who's counting? I've lived here longer than you. And we're both in the city. It's, Newsflash. It's not? Okay, yes. So, I grew okay, up in Queens. Go on, okay, hold on. Go. When you go on the either the A BQE... The BQE is when you're going into the city. I understand the that. The BQE is a block away. You're hurting your argument. On, shouldn't go on it. But, like, if you get on the Long Island Expressway. Yeah. The LIE. Yep. Um, yeah, you hit some traffic. I understand that. Right. But, like, wait, what exit are you on when you go to work? Uh, exit 34 for okay. one for one actually, of the places. Actually, that's kind of long, so I, I actually take right, my... But not even bad, though. No, that's not even bad. But Dude, one of my exits... When I go visit, when I go visit my boyfriend, yeah. I go on 70. He lives in Riverhead? No. Southampton. He's had one girlfriend before, and he's just kind of like, he I found the jackpot. And he's yeah, like, I he's get it. <laughs> but also, you know, I get it. It's you're hanging yeah. out with a guy late at night. I yes. get it. It's yes. almost midnight, But guys. it's like we're cousins. But yeah. Does that make you feel weird? Friend zoned. Um, no, it's Friend fine. Friend zoned. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. It's, it's, we're, it's, we're, yeah. Yeah, we're okay. It's one of those... Here's the thing. It doesn't even have to do with me. It's like for you guys and your relationship, yeah. you guys should feel comfortable. It's always a hard balance. It is. It because is. Even in my last relationship, we were very good about communication and stuff, mm-hmm. like more so than a lot of couples. Mm-hmm. But, you know, and she was like very good about like, you know, neither of us, we didn't flirt around mm-hmm. with other people yeah, or, you know, none, no weirdness like that. But like, you know, there are times where you're like, oh, like, you know, I'm in stand up and like, you know, do I go to a show or do I have to be there for her or vice mm-hmm. versa? You know, so it's, I understand it's not easy. Yeah. It's not easy. It, it, it's not yeah. easy at all. Um, in any relationship, um, I feel like it's 
you know, you want to be there for your partner. Yeah. But you also want to be there for yourself. I mean, I yeah, had to do both. A, a, a year, a year and a half, maybe two years. I don't. Of you being know, single the, or. Yeah. Of being single. Okay. Um, it's kind of different. I mean, I was dating other people as but it wasn't exclusive. Right. Um, but it was very much, I was with myself all the time. Um, and you know, when I got into this relationship, it was very much like we, 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 we do this very French. Very, I was going to say, yeah. you beat me too. <laughs> you said like four we's. Yeah. yeah. So, but it was very much like a, um, a couple thing, but I realized, and my mom actually made me realize that, it's um you have to be there for yourself of course. and you have to you have to do stuff that you like to do and one thing i've struggled with um since the pandemic yeah um was going out and to getting, bars just no but just like getting out of the house being in a relationship is kind of like okay i have to be okay with doing something that my partner is okay with as well but yeah. that also shouldn't be the aspect because like i i like to do things i like to go out i like to hang out with my friends aka yeah. you yeah um and it shouldn't be weird well you guys just have to understand each other to a degree of it's just really trust yeah but like true trust not just yeah. like we have to say trust right like no yeah, it's like yeah. really trusting each other Correct. and like I think you have to verbalize exactly what everything means. Yeah. You have to verbalize. I was away from the mic, so I'm going to repeat it. You have to verbalize exactly what everything means. So it's like, you know, I'm going out tonight. You know, I care about you. Like, we're in communication. Yeah. What, whatever it is. You know, yeah, every relationship's sure. different. You know, and you just, you want, here's the thing. You, I listened to this on a podcast earlier. And this mm -hmm. is no bearing on your relationship or anything. I don't know why I'm looking yeah. at the camera like he's listening. Hi. Um, <laughs> You should just be happy as often as possible. Yeah. And as long as you're happy, that's good. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. It's, you know, the minute you're not happy. And that's why, like, me and my ex, like, we were very honest about that. Like, I I hate to say this out loud, admit this, but this is what it was. Like, mm -hmm. she's an awesome person. Last year, three days before Christmas, I just had this feeling. I was like, I don't know about this or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, this is weird. Like, she's beautiful. She's smart. Everything's mm -hmm. great. But it just feels off. Mm -hmm. So I, like, kind of initiated a breakup, kind of. Mm -hmm. And it was just, it felt, but I, in my head, I was like, okay, but you got to be honest with your feelings and mm -hmm. everything with her. And it was horrible. It, it sucked. And then we got back together, like, you know, less than a week later. Like, because, mm -hmm. you know, you, you realize, like, oh, like, but she's way better than, like, everyone else is going to be. Whatever it is. Mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And then, like, she had the reverse of it with me. Like, you know, she had a time where she was like, I'm not sure about this. Like, that happened to, for us a bunch of times. And it was just like, you know, we did a little push and pull. But in, like, probably the healthiest way possible. Like, yeah. there's no toxicity, no, nothing weird. Just, like, fine. Yeah. But as much as that's hard and difficult, like I think that's good. You just got to follow where you're at. Yeah. Cause we evolve as people, you know, and you know, it's not all about like compromise is good. Yeah. But it's like to a certain degree, you gotta be honest. Like, okay, well if we really have all these different, like if we're going to diverge mm -hmm. so much, we got to like listen to these patterns. A but little how bit. do you diverge? That's you have to look at that. It was no, it was just like li li like little things, like little okay. things. Like think like for example, like I'm the kind of guy like you know I'm responsible, uh, I have fun, I like dark humor and stuff. But then mm -hmm. also like I'm not gonna be like there is and like you know the laws of attraction, right? So yeah. there's like when you ignore someone, they want you more stuff like mm -hmm. that. That exists, you know yes. it. Yes, I've yes. seen it in your li like we know this, yes. Victoria. Listen, I. I've gone for girls I shouldn't have gone for yeah. because they didn't want me as much yes. or something or yes. they did, but only a little, you know, mm -hmm. like, and that's enough to like keep you chasing them, you mm -hmm. know, with my ex, it's like, she was a rare case where like we were both fun with each other and everything, but like still there for each other. Mm -hmm. There was then probably a certain point where she was like, oh, Anthony's here and like mm -hmm. he doesn't have tattoos and he doesn't ride a motorcycle. Okay. Why am I with him? You know, like that's a thing. Yeah. That's a real well, thing. Okay. Yeah. The thing, thing with that is that's being young. It's totally right? being young. It, it's, yes. It, that's so common. Very. And uh, this is where I put the, if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Totally. And uh, 
you know, as much as I would love to deny myself as a believer in that aspect, um, it's very much true. It's very true. It, I can acknowledge I'm self-aware enough to know, like, the, yeah. these things are real. Like, yeah. yeah. And when it, when you're young, we're in your 20s to 30s. And I'm, I'm yeah. even 30s to 40s. I'm going to I'm going to go in. Sure. Yeah. Um, you're you're kind of learning about yourself and you're kind of um learning more about things that you like things that you dislike yeah and you can't understand that without being with someone yeah that you might be like mm, i don't like that they do that yeah or uh, oh i really like that they do you that. have to find out for yourself correct people could tell you everything Mm-hmm. You have to find out for yourself. Mm. We have to talk about Pani Z. I yeah. feel like she's, an, you said she was an enigma. Yes, yeah, in a good way. If enigma she means She would love well. if she was on Instagram. She's all up on Instagram right now. Victoria's mom, you're getting a shout out on my podcast. I hope Alina Zizula. Is it, was her full name? Mm-hmm. I just know her as Pani. No, say it again. Pani, Al- Alina. Alina. Zizula. Oh, that's pretty. That's like nice. Yeah, but Pani Z is good. She Pani Z is good. That. I like lo- that. She loved you even if you said you love. Um, Pan means bread in Spanish. Donald, she's the bread no, of life. No, she would love you if you said you love Donald Trump. <laughs> I won't say that. But if you, s- yeah, I know. Don't say that. I don't care. But, but if I just you s- don't, even if you said you love Joe Biden, she would love you. Oh, that's sweet. She's. I liked her a lot. She has. She, a, loves she has a sweet smile and stuff. Yeah. She's really nice. She's she was okay. nice to me. She was a good supporter. She's good fa- at faking it. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> she was faking it. Okay, no, she, she does love you. She actually loves me. That's sweet. She loves you so much. Thank you. She's not even texting me right now. Actually, could she clean my bathroom? She might be. Check, yeah, check your messages on the podcast. This is a good time for that. So yeah. do you want to talk about Panizi or Polish traditions? Like, what do you, what's your goal end on this podcast? What do you want Nothing, to get out I'm of me? catching First up with all, you. I'm not a comedian. I work in finance. They got that by now. Company. Yeah, they, um, they figured. Yeah. You're, you, you were, you're entertaining. I'm, I'm kind of like a nobody in a way. No, I but it's not about nobody. You're, you were entertaining. You're not a comic, but you're entertaining. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You weren't like Eric brought it. Like Eric, Eric was on this podcast. We were doing bits. He was doing Trinidadian accents. Oh, like yeah. he was. I can do Polish accents. Do like, it. You ain't gonna eat this carp. Say something in Polish, will you? Dzień dobry. That's. Wszystkie kurwa mać. I know what kurwa means. Yeah, no, That's like a bad word. That's a bad word. It just means F, right? Um, it can mean anything you want it to be. Really? Mm-hmm. What else could it mean besides that? Um, like you can say, ale kurva. That kurva. Means what a bitch. Or like, what a slut. Oh, so it can mean like 10 words? Mm-hmm. Oh, see, I just thought it was like the F word or something. No. Kurva. Yeah. We had a Polish kurva. coach in college. Oh, really? He was, yeah. The kurva match. He that would say kurva. fucking hell. Yeah. Yeah. He would say that and more. And more. Yeah. Pierdolich. My <laughs> mom's not gonna watch this. What does that mean? Um, that means um, pierdol like fuck this shit. Is that what you're saying about this podcast right now? No. You're happy to be here. I'm really happy to. I'm be I'm happy here. you're on I've this. I've never been on a podcast before. You have and this been is now. The, f- the exciting thing, um, the most exciting books I've written. No, I'm just kidding. No, tell me what what have you been reading? Oh, you're in the middle of Lolita right now, right? Um, so I'm listening to Lolita. Oh, okay, so you lied. I'm not reading that shit. That's like too advanced. You I've can read okay. it. It's good. So you the can thing handle. is about list. So I'm a very big l- like audiobook person versus Fair. reading person. So one of my favorite authors is actually Otessa Mushbeg. If you haven't read her, please I don't know read her. About her. Great. Where's she author. from? I don't know. Russia. But she's half Iranian. Okay. Half american okay she's so you know where she's from yeah you know everything about her you know her date of she's birth. she's no i don't know her date of birth um you however will. she's great um she talks she she writes about like very realistic fucked up shit yeah and i'm like oh my god this is amazing i just finished the her land book. of milk and honey kind of stuff no that's a have you seen that movie Mm-mm. it was an angelina i don't really watch movies why? Yeah. That's I like know. the biggest deal in my life almost. Well, it's not. It, Comedy is my favorite thing. Mm-hmm. Movies are like right under it. I don't really. You should. Like I'll movies. send you a list of like a hundred movies. 
I'm sure no. your boyfriend will love that. But with, okay, with movies, I'm I'm a halfway in sleeper. Oh really? Mm-hmm. I mean that's not uncommon, but do better. But um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like how old are you? Um, no, I just I understand. I, I understand. Do you? I actually do. I mean, I've I'm seen a, people I, do it. I'm a bit like if you put a movie on, I'd be like knocked out. Okay, so that's your melatonin. Mm-hmm. So literally, you can watch. Honestly, melatonin doesn't put me to sleep. I can take ten milligrams. Of I hear it's bad for you. Your memory is bad for your memory. And like it Alzheimer's. Like yeah, Alzheimer's. and it messes with your sleep so habits. Does Adderall. And you're well. I won't disclose that for you. You're taking Adderall. Sometimes. Okay. I wanted you to say it. I won't say it for <laughs> you. I won't out <laughs> you on the podcast because sometimes so my work husband gives me them. Yeah. Oh, there you get into the, that. I'm sure he'd love that too. Yeah, yeah, he'd love that. I don't think he'd see that. And until he's I watching this, by the way, he's a millennial. He wouldn't. He wouldn't find it. How old is he? Your boyfriend? My boyfriend? Yeah. He's 26. Right. No, I thought you were talking about him. Oh, my work husband. Yeah. He's 30. No, he'd be happy if you were talking he's, about him on this podcast. Oh, he would be. No, well, he's I, you blushed a little too he's hard a, for that. He's a rich bitch. I bet. No, I was saying your boyfriend wouldn't like you talking about him. No. Right. And your boyfriend might watch this. He might. He will. Don't put it on Instagram. Uh, with The clips, if they're a fire, they might go on. They might. Yeah. But don't. It's a relationship test. It's okay. Mm. It happens. Things happen. Mm. Um, I'll get your approval for everything. It's okay. I approve on you. The podcast Honestly, is going on YouTube. It's the fame that I'm after. <laughs> you you could be do you listen. Are you going Do you think I could be famous? Anyone could be famous. No. No, seriously, anyone could the be famous. The thing is, I'm asking you, do you think I could be famous? Yeah, of course. In what what aspect? Do you think I'd be a good actress? Do you think I'd be blah blah blah? Ballerina. Um, Ballerina. <laughs> <laughs> no, you could be like literally, I'm not kidding. You could be a podcaster, you could be uh, a personality it's like it's really whatever you shape nowadays anyone can be famous mm. it's just kind of like if you find your lane like i haven't found my lane like i do well on stand-up shows tonight mm-hmm. i did okay this was a tricky you did room all right. I did okay you didn't get a lot of laughs though. no but they were a tough room actually yeah, Tr- yeah. Like last night i did really well yeah, with yeah. A, a lot of the same stuff mm-hmm. and it's just like the room was a little you saw for everybody there were great people on the show yeah the room dictates a lot like yeah. you could do something yeah, that's yeah. The well, there wasn't a lot of people well there weren't a lot but also it's not just about the amount it was like the people that were there my friends they were solid they they were nice and engaging but they didn't give you a lot the asian girl and the the quiet italian girl from long island city mm-hmm. they didn't the give girls from prague the girls from prague they were like they were horrible. did they speak english like let's get to that first no. that's the thing is like they were like kind of like silent mutes i feel like if i okay so if there were f- 10 of you, can I, can I yeah, say something? You may. So I imagine during everyone's set, yeah. I imagined myself w- that you would ask me to go up because it was like an open mic, whatever it was. It was and a I, show, but sure yeah, that what else you have to do. My mom recently stopped making dinner. I don't know what why. To, I don't know. Did She's you like, ask I her? C- I come home from work and I'm so tired. So I made double baked potatoes. Did she go out to work or is she working from home? She, no, she's not. What do you mean? She's a seamstress. You knew this. She's, no, she doesn't that. work from home. I didn't know that. No, she's a seamstress. I thought she was just her. She works at Nordstrom Rat on 6th oh. Ave. And in Man- the Manhattan? Americas, yeah. Oh, that's cute. And 33rd. Oh. Or 31st, I don't remember. <laughs> that's cute. Yeah, she's cute. Go go to her for I would you should if you got a suit to be is tailored. she accessible like can I find her if I just go to the store if you ask for Alina 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 she Zizula she, mm-hmm. she would be she'd be like <gasps> my my neighbors hello how are you <laughs> Was that Slava Ukraine? <laughs> there we go. She'd be happy with that. I hope Pony Z watches this, by the way. I hope she does. I'd probably send her the Instagram. Like Please do. No, I, there, I send her all of, Do you know I send her all of your most of well not all, but most of your Instagram links? You do. Do you like my Instagram stuff? Yeah. You great. do? Thank they're you. Good. Really I appreciate good. that. I like support. Mm-hmm. I hit myself on the nose. Yeah, I know. I um, saw that. Yeah, that was that was a whole moment. Um mm-hmm. that's sweet. I appreciate that. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Anytime. I always support you, you no matter do. what. Even though I don't reach out to you, 
It's okay. You also, re- happy holidays. <laughs> you too. You reached out for the holidays. That was nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You did. Don't tell your boyfriend. Um, <laughs> Just kidding. It's nice. It's better to reach out than not. Like I also, what, I'm, what I've been good about the last bunch of years, in general, for my whole life, I mm-hmm. think, but especially the last bunch of years, I really don't expect a lot of people. Like I expect a lot of myself, mm-hmm. but I, you know, it's nice to get stuff. Listen, there are days where I'm like, oh, like comedians will in person they'll be really nice to you and then they they won't have you on your on their show or whatever but then you realize like you got to remember okay we're in new york i don't have all these people on my show like remember what you do for people versus what they do for you and like don't expect yeah yeah don't expect of people yeah just do your best and people will be attracted to you if you do good stuff like listen i put things on instagram sometimes they'll do well sometimes they won't Mm-hmm. And when they don't do well, I remember, okay, well, I just got to go harder. Yeah. I got to make something better. Yeah. It doesn't mean it's on them. It's on me. For sure. I got to be better. Yeah. So be better. You should. Right? That's what I did this year. I gave everyone presents and I made That's everyone sweet. feel bad. Did you get, p- I feel bad I didn't get you like a present. That's okay. I didn't get you a present. True. Well, my present was like hand making cards. So I got really into art. I did that in high school year. for a lot of people. Oh, did you? One year I got I made a lot of people. Yeah. And then you stopped. You were like, fuck this. It was a lot of work. It's a lot of work. I made it for like a lot of people. It's a lot of work. I'm going to tell but you. But it's sweet when you can do it. It's, yes. But. How many cards did you hand make this 30. year? 30. That's a lot. And I got none of them. Cool. Um, That's fine. I didn't get you a card. That's okay. It's fine. Merry Christmas. One year I'll get you You're card. Italian, so I can say Merry Christmas. Yeah. I've been telling people happy holidays. And I'm like agnostic, but I'll still take the Christmas. Are you agnostic? Yeah, are you? Do you go to church and stuff? Um, I went Christmas Day. But like, do you go and do you care? Mm. I go for more for the organs. For the organ. Oh, I was thinking organs like body organs. Mm. Like organ, like piano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, mm. I like that. I think it's therapeutic. You get it on Spotify. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it is there. It is, but it's not the same. Your I agree. Do you just go on like a Wednesday afternoon to a church for your organs? No. Organ so donation? I won't physically go. Okay. But like if I, so, okay, this is really funny. So my family, since the pandemic, yeah, my dad is like, we should go to church more, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, mm, you fucking lying, bitch. Um, and so Christmas Day, I... Do you believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker mm. of heaven and earth? I believe in climate change. Okay. That's what we were going to talk about a year and a half ago. Okay. We should talk about it, actually, after this. What do you want to talk about? Climate change? Yeah. Like, what about it? Um, I think it... Oh, you had a good big note corp- there. Big corporations, like Big Oil, yeah. should really fucking get their shit together. They don't want to. They're making money. <sighs> That's the point. Like BP or like. Yeah, they're just making money from oil. So when you first met me. Yeah. What did you think? I was attracted to you. Yeah. Really? Totally. Were you attracted Um, to me? No. No, that's fine. Well, in. Well. mm, No, no. uh, Yeah, that's fair. Really? At any point in time where you were no. Um, I think my mom kind of gaslit me into thinking you were attracted. Yeah, yeah. And then I was like. And then you're like, nah. Damn, Anthony's kind of fun. And then. It's life. And then, well, the thing is, well, there is sort of that sexual tension in high school where you're like, oh, my God, oh, my God, my God, a guy is picking me up. Of course. To take me to the it's, it's, With guys, it's like ambiguous with girls. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. like little things that can happen. Of course. I mean, the I mean, same with guys It's like It's like girls. literally any I, male picking up a female. Yeah. It's like. The sexual tension in this car right now. There are random things that'll get a bit. Same for guys. More yeah. so for girls, but guys too. Little, what? More so for girls? No, like like random things will have a girl get attracted to a guy. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like what? Like things like that. Like okay, yeah. a guy could be an ogre, but he picked you up. Like you like him mm, now. I'm not an ogre. I would take I'm advantage. Fine. Huh? You're, no, you're not an ogre I'm okay. at all. Yeah, you're okay. Fine. But you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you might have it and then lose it or get it again. You know what I'm saying? Do you know what I want to talk about? I want to talk about our tennis journey. Talk about it. Good Do segue. Do you remember? I know you're friends with him. Who? Yes. Oh, I, there was a, the thing with that. Because when I first met you, and this was a whole thing. This was a funny thing. We'll talk mm-hmm. about this. Mm-hmm. 
we so I he's my boy, he's one of mm-hmm. my friends. I met you. We were like playing one day. Mm-hmm. And you like talked about him, but you were like, and I was like, I like the thing is like I kinda like like it was weird. I don't know if I liked you, but I kinda liked you. But mm-hmm. I I didn't know, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then you talked about him, okay, that's fine. It, I wasn't Why are you on a name drop him? Because you said it already. Okay. He's married or engaged or something. Yeah, he's engaged. Yeah, that's You're true. keeping track of him very Congratulations. well. Congratulations. She's still thinking about you. <laughs> um, anyway, you know his coordinates and everything. Mm-hmm. But, and then like, I was like, okay, that's fine. So I detached myself from you for a second. And then like. <gasps> really? Yeah. But then the next time we played, it was funny. And Pony Z comes into this. Mm-hmm. You, We were playing. We were like on a bench or something. And mm-hmm. you were like, so I talked to my mom and she said, I shouldn't have said to you that like, I, like I shouldn't have mentioned you or something it was so funny i was like i was like what i was like what i was like what planet am i on i brought up nothing we were just like talking about something random you're like that's Brother. such a me thing to and you were like so, i'm sorry about that and i was like that's okay it's fine and in my head i was like good you should <laughs> but it was like also funny it was also like but it was also like funny i was like this is why but, <laughs> but yes okay do you remember i get it okay do you remember when i th- I knew you liked rap, rap music. Yeah, I liked rap. And the MGMT, They're when not, I w- when they ke- they were like first came out, they weren't rap. I know, and I thought they were. Okay. And I was like, oh my god, I know how to rap this MGMT verse. Uh, okay. And I rapped it for you Wh- in the car Which? when you drove me to Bayside to go tennis. Okay, what was it? What was the song? I don't remember. Not MGK or MGMT. MGMT. Okay, no. Was it like time? And to you were like, "Oh my god, yeah, cool, that, but that's not rap." And I was probably like, really. Embarrassed. So you were trying to impress me because you were in love with me. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you were for a moment. I wasn't in love with you, I'm but kidding. I was like, "Oh my god." We had a nice thing, like just yeah. friends, even just yeah, as friends. Yeah, yeah. Like I liked like it having didn't you. Didn't work out, but it no, was but good. I liked having but you in my. You think I'm not going to succeed? Tell me, honest. Mm. I'm good, by the way. Tonight's not like an inkling of how it goes. Okay. It's I not. haven't been too many. This is my second one. But the first one. How did you think the first one went? That was good. That was good in front of a lot of people, mm-hmm. and they laughed a lot. Cause, yeah. Right. Well, you have the to more people that laugh, the more. Yeah, no, but you have to understand. Like, they could have been silent in that big room. They could. They didn't have to laugh. No. This comedy's weird. Like tonight, I could have had someone who has like three Netflix specials on that show, and they wouldn't get laughs. Yeah, I know. I saw in the description that woman wasn't there. <laughs> Emma. Yeah. Yeah, she dropped out. No, she couldn't make it. She was funny. She's good. Did I you like watch her stuff? Mm-hmm. She's good. Her don't tell set. It's mm-hmm. good, right? Very good. Listen. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. She could have been on that show. She would get some laughs. She they wouldn't have given they would not have given her what she deserves. Well, there was not many people <laughs> on that show. Right, and they were also weird. I mean, shout out to m- my friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like the You're other welcome. We had the Prague people. Shout out to you if you're listening. Mm-hmm. And we had the Long Island City Bay Ridge mm-hmm. people. Shout out to you if you're listening too. Mm-hmm. Best audience members of all time? No. No. I listen. Yeah. Stuff yeah, I yeah. did tonight. Like Wait, you can't. You can't have it all. You can't. What do you mean? That's in every aspect of life. You can't. Of course. Have it all. No, but like what I'm saying is like stuff I did tonight, like sometimes hits hard. Mm-hmm. And also like the energy the audience gives you feeds you. So like I committed pretty hard compared to what I was getting. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like I was just leaning out. I was just like, I'm here. This is fine. Yeah. You just gotta plow through. Yeah. So thing to understand about comedy is like yeah, you yeah. gotta like you could be some of the people who do the garden, like they've had shitty shows. Like mm-hmm. they've done Everyone Shitty have, rooms, dude, everyone you know. Has shitty days. Ever that's just so normal. just to tell you, like I'm gonna be good. Like I'm okay. gonna succeed. Okay, what would you? You'll provide? see. What would you provide if we were married? If we were married, mm-hmm. I would have money. Um, I would supportive emotionally for you. I'm a good emotional support system. In just so you know, I'm mentally. I know. I know. Okay. I know. But I've also dealt with a lot. Okay. Okay. I'll leave it at that. Keep going. Um. What else would you want? I'll tell you if I can give it to you or not. I'll, I'll cook Allow- sometimes. I cook. I would love that. I cook. What would you cook? I cook chicken and fish and <laughs> pastas. No, but name a fish. <laughs> no, but I know different ones. Like, mm-hmm. you know, trout, like cod, flounder. Like, I, 
I'll marinate a chicken. Like, okay. you know what I'm saying? Like, it'll be marinated. Uh, what else would you expect me to cook? Risotto? I'll make risotto. Okay, what if we had a child together? I'd be a good dad. Seriously, yeah, do you, I, don't I, you know okay. I'd be a pretty yes, good dad? Yeah, I know that you'd be a really Because good dad. here's the thing, I'm attentive, I listen. Yes, yes, yes. I'll yes, make yes, sure yes. if it's a boy, I'll be like, hey, like you're going to be a strong, confident girl. You're going to be strong, confident. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> that's, that's yeah, mm-hmm. of course. Mm-hmm. And I, like, I'm going to make sure that I, do you know they're going to be th- nurtured but wait, strong. Can I say, you would say. be a very good girl, dad. Of course. Oh, my totally. God. You, you are. Because like, I'm present. You are definition girl, dad. I'm, I'm here. I'm yeah. not negligent. I'm not in my own head too much for other mm-hmm. people. I'll be there for them. Yeah. I understand girls and guys. I understand you. Like, not. Yeah. Com- I'm not gonna no. ever mm-hmm. act like I know everything about a person, but I mm-hmm. understand you pretty well. You get me, yeah. I, I get. I it. can get it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. I get a lot of things. I I'm, can get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I I understand things. Yeah. I'm, I don't get everything ever. I'm mm-hmm. not gonna act like I own the world. But. No, but you are definition yeah. girl, dad. I'll take that. I take that as a compliment. Sure. Do you mean that as a compliment? Yes, I do. Cool. No, I. Because it's really hard. To raise girls. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. And I've seen good girl dads and bad girl dads. I know mm-hmm. I would be a good one, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you'd be Do you great. think I would be... De- I'd be okay. I'd be you'd solid. You'd be great. I'd be solid. I think you'd be a good mom. You really I'd think like so? to think so. Re- do you you'd think... You'd like to think so? Do you think you'd be a good I mom? I think I'd be... It starts there. I think I'd be very disciplinary. Like, I'd be like... Cause I think you're dude, smart. Dude, I've done... Yeah. Because I'm an only child, I feel like I've Same. snuck around like and been right. like, I, I know. You'll everything. know when they're not being authentic with you. Yes, correct. Same. And they'd be like, okay, you're fucking hiding something, bitch. Tell yeah. me what it is. But you would like, how would you navigate that? Would you be cool to them? Yeah, I'd be like, okay, cool. You're addicted to nicotine. Cool. I get it. Um, Try to stop that because I know it's bad. Yeah. Your mommy lost all her teeth because of that. Yeah. When, when do you think you're going to lose all your teeth? Because mm. you're... 40. Anthony. So, yeah. I'm pulling up to Nordstrom. Just saying. You should. I need support. In my she life. would... I'm going to tell you, you're going to make her day. If I you would love If you pull up that. to Nordstrom and... 6th uh, Ave, 33rd. 33rd or 31st. I don't... I forget. Good daughter. I'll... I think it's 33rd. I'll... I it's enough of a mental note. I'm I'm off next week. I'll find a way to go you there. Should. That would be nice. Buy a suit just for fun. I mean, I have like three suits already. See, husband material. I have three suits. Husband material. Yeah. One for a funeral. One for a wedding. One for fun. Casual. Exactly. Like, like I said, not you know. This is for down the road. For right mm-hmm. now, we're we're doing our thing. We're figuring mm-hmm. it out. I have finances to finance. Totally. Well, that's the thing. I'm being, I'm getting good about saving too. Like I'm excited. Like life is I'm keeping things in gear. I'm excited. Good. This is a good time for me. Do you me. have a Roth IRA? I lied to someone today and said that I do. Mm, but but uh, you don't. You should. No, I'm going to get one actually. You're I I know. 28. Yeah, no, I know it's a good thing you to have. You should have compound. I have one. I have a good amount of savings. For, you know, speaking. That doesn't matter. No, You're no, but I'm saying if I put that into a Roth IRA right now, they'll start compounding kind of. Yeah, right? but imagine you started a Roth IRA when you were 22. I don't have a time machine. Yeah, that's true. I had a uh, something. It was like an investment account, not a Roth IRA. Um, Did it increase? Like kind of, but very incrementally. Yeah, very Roth low. IRA. And I also... Roth is good. Like To all those... 20 year olds that have their first 401k yeah change your 401k to a roth 401k okay that will increase your interest tax free um just sounds more jewish saying roth yeah which is better Uh, it's better i mean you get money tax free and then when you're retiring yeah you get a lot more money so roth is tax free in a way yeah in a way yeah. <laughs> What's the know, way? It's complicated. So I don't really want to get into it because I really don't know. Because you're cheating the system. Um, just mm-hmm. kidding. Uh, so if I get a Roth IRA today, do I have to pay taxes on it? Mm-mm. Oh, so that's good. Mm-hmm. But if I pull money out of it, do I have to pay taxes mm-hmm. at any point? Mm-hmm. So Except your retirement age. I think it's like 60 something. So if I hold on to all of it till I'm 65. And you... It's okay. Yeah. Then it's tax-free. Yeah, you can have millions. 
Yeah. Well, not right now. Well, not now, but then. But, like, w- I will. You will. When did you start yours? Last year. Two years ago? 23, 24. Mm-hmm. Okay. July 9th. Mm-hmm. Birthday. Okay. Just remembering. I've texted you on your birthday Have you before. No, you haven't. I have. Look in your phone. Mm-mm. I've texted you on your birthday. Gritter Pop, no. Gritter Pop, okay. Check. I have. I don't remember what years, but I know I have. Happy bela- I wrote happy belated Christmas because you said you too. That was this year. Yeah, I don't have any more. No, th- oh, you Wait, delete. Wait, my boyfriend wants <coughs> to say goodnight to me. Do that. I think that concludes. We can conclude it. I appreciate you being on. Yeah, of course. Give me one of these. Friends, that was a, yeah. See, friends, cousins. see, friends, cousins. There's a pillow divider. Like pillow it's divider. safe. It's a safe environment. Yeah. Uh, this is Victoria Zazula. She was on. We're both a little Polish. Um, this might be episode 17. Thank you guys for listening. Like, subscribe, follow Victoria. You know, we'll see what's happening. Ika is my handle. That's her Instagram. Yeah, handle. Are there any underscores in there? Or no. No. Good. That, yeah, that the underscores are suspect. Um yeah. uh thank you guys. Cool. We can end Bye. it there.